All right, Marsha and Todd, welcome to the intro to invoice. Um, this is an intro tutorial since I figured we might not get an opportunity to uh, connect to get the chance to show it to you and I thought it was a wonderful app and you uh, should already be using it but I know you guys have been busy um, so I wanted to give you every opportunity you could to uh, to try it out. Uh, to start, uh, you should have probably downloaded the invoice.zip file and you can just double click on that to unzip it. It's going to unzip the folder called invoice and you can drag and drop that into your applications folder and um, the file that you'll actually be launching um, is going to be the invoice.app app. And uh, once you launch that, if you wanted to, you could create a shortcut in your desktop or in your dock from there um, or whatever you might need. For the first time running, I'm going to use the account Marsha, and the password is Marsha, and uh, say OK. Uh, that you'll notice there was a change password dialog on there as well. If you at any time wanted to change your password, you can go under File, uh, Change Password, enter the old, the new, and so on and so forth. So you can update it as soon as you'd like. I'm going to leave it at uh, Marsha so that I don't forget presently. You can see I've already preloaded it with some, just some data, um, and you can get rid of that just using the delete key. There's a person, you can delete that too. Um, for, the, for this intro, I'm gonna go ahead and add a company and a person and show you how to do an order. So we're gonna start uh, under company, I'm gonna do, to create a new company, use the new record, and then you can start typing the company. And I'm gonna do Bart's, uh, Bart's Slingshot Camp, and we'll do the work email address, bcs at uh, bcs, or vsc, I'm sorry, vsc dot com, and the telephone number, this would be normally for the main company, this would be like the 1-800 number or a company directory. Um, as you add in contacts for the company, those are going to be um, the individual people and their direct contact information. So in this I'll just say front desk. And the main address for the main for the company is uh, Street. And we'll say Seattle, Washington, nine eight one hundred. Enter all that information in. So there we have a company with the uh, default email and a telephone number. And now we're going to go ahead and add contacts for this company. That's people that work for it. Those are going to be the ones you generally place any orders for. So the first contact, we'll just click the plus button. It says, do you want to add a new person to this company? We say, OK. First name we're going to do is uh, Lisa. Use the tab key to get to the last name. Put in Simpson. Email address, we'll add her work is lisa.simpson at artslingshotcamp.com and we'll add in a telephone number for her and we'll add in an address and you'll see the address preloads with the attention and the company name. The address we'll do is uh, 1215 Front Street. A little different than the actual main address and it's still in Seattle. And if we wanted to put in a second telephone number, we could put in a home number. And you'll see the green dot. That selects the default. So that if you're sending something to them, whatever you select as the default would be the one that you would normally use. All right. So there we've got a company and a person that works for the company. Um, the next thing that you had asked was being able to add orders in. And so we've added the order function. To add an order in, you can click on the order tab, and from here you can create new order requests. So well, let's just do that. So we use the green button here to create a new order request. We'll say Bart Slingshot Camp ordered it. Lisa Simpson was the one who put in the request, and it's for um, the product. It's um, going to be, let's see, uh, about a bread house. And the description, please make a house out of bread. We'll say use whole grain and 
um, I'm just using the tab key and a dash to help kind of organize it. Um, cut into slices. 0.25 inches. Anyway, you can you understand. <laughs> put it whatever description you want. Use the tab key. Go ahead and put in a price. We'll say it's $250. Uh, status is ready to start. You can there's different statuses for the job, and I'll get to that in a little bit. The type um, doesn't have to be set now, but that's where your project services and additional, you can edit this list and make, make them say whatever you want. So you can see it's added to the list here now. Uh, let me go ahead and do another one just for fun. We'll do it Bark Slingshot Camp 2 for Lisa. Product will be glass bottle. And we'll say make wine bottle from blown glass. Something you always do, right? Say, get blue glass. Heat up. And we'll say, melt in tin. So on and so forth. You got the idea. And the price for that will be $300. $3,000. That's, that's a fairly complicated one. So you can see the list uh, under the company here, under Bart Slingshot Camp for Lisa. We've got two different orders that have been requested. And you can just uh, add in as many of these as you want. It's set up in such a way so that you can do a short list. So under scripts, there's a short list. Click on that and it'll give you a window. This is the window that shows you all of the orders requests that are in. The sample company has a couple order requests. The Bart Slingshot Camp has a couple. And you can pin this up in your um, the corner of your window if you'd like. Uh, to close it, you just hit the orders button. From this jump pad, you can select the status of the order. You can either just directly select it, or you can select the ones that you want to alter and change the status on them by saying that these are in progress. I can say in progress. It says select the items. We say OK. They both switch to in progress. Um, if we took this one and we said it was uh, ready to bill, um, we can go ahead and add it to an invoice. To add this to an invoice, you can either just click on the dollar sign here, which will automatically send it to an invoice, or you can manually create an invoice and pull it in. And I'll show you that in just a second. So we'll say send orders for this contact marked ready to bill to an invoice. We say OK. It has started our invoice for us. And um, if we wanted to add other items, the glass bottle to this invoice, we can just pull that item over. Let me expand the window out here just a little bit. Um, or if you didn't want to add that item, you can send it back. That's the other order that we have in presently for them. Um, it's waiting for us. It's associated with the company, Bart Slingshot Camp and Lisa Simpson, um, but it's waiting for us to set the invoice number. That invoice number, if you hit the green, uh, now this, this is the first time it's been ran this year, so it's asking me the current year and the year being used to generate the invoice numbers are not in sync. Do you want to reset the serial numbers being used for the company's invoices? Because you had said that you'd wanted it to be uh, noted by the year and then started uh, started new for the year. So I'm going to say update to bring those up to date and we'll say OK to confirm that they're going to be changed. And now you can see it, it has automatically created uh, for BART Slingshot Camp. You, the first three letters which you designated, this is BART, so it's B-A-R, and then it's 12 since it's the year 12 and then dash 1 and next invoice would be dash 2 and so on and so forth. And that part can be altered under the company. That's a lot of information to throw at you, but <laughs> there was a lot of detail requests on that. So um, so there's our invoice. I could put in a PO number, and I could say what it's for or not. Um, if I added another item to it, I can select the type. I can say this one's project and fees, and then this one is um, services. Uh, now if I go to the print preview, you can see the breakout um, invoice number, PO, who it's for, project and fees and services. And the order of that is determined by the order that they're listed in the pull-down list. So you can edit that list and rearrange them, and it'll change which one shows up first. And when you're done printing, uh, you can just hit Continue. When you print it, it locks it so that you know that you've got a hard copy out, maybe to somebody. Uh, if I wanted to email it, I can also email it using the email button. Hit Continue. It that hits you up for the dialog to save it as a PDF. I'll save it as a PDF back into the uh, folder there. I'll replace that one. Um, brings up the email. Waiting for me, I can then attach it 
go back to the same place where I'd saved it. attach it to the email, send it off. I'm not going to bother sending that. I'll hide now. Asks us if it's sent okay, we say okay. And that goes ahead and labels it as emailed invoice. So that email, that invoice is out and waiting. From there, you can reconcile the invoices. So here's one invoice that's out and it's said email. Let's say that they go ahead and pay it. It was paid on the 6th. We deposited the check on the 8th. Check number is 22222. The amount paid, total due was 3250. They paid 3200. So there's a slight discrepancy. Select that invoice. We'll go back to the invoice. You can see the discrepancy. Um, we can add in the other item, uh, the difference. We'll say the new check uh, that they sent was 222. Three and it was for fifty dollars the difference. They paid that on the seventh, and we deposited that on the tenth. And of course, as you deposit, as you reconcile that they were deposited, as soon as they clear, and then once everything's good, you can reconcile the invoice. Looking back at reconciled, there they are. They're showing up now in your taxes. Your twenty eleven. These were the samples from last year. This is the samples from this year, showing uh, each check as it was processed and the date that it was deposited. And this can be printed as well. So that is invoice. Thanks for letting me take a few minutes to explain that and um, give it a try. Uh, hopefully it'll work well for you guys. And um, I'm looking forward to hearing from you. All right, take care.